let's get into the details how you can actually create different kind of automations or business process uh, with the help of financial services cloud or in the financial services cloud with the help of different uh, uh, tools that it provides. So number one is OmniScript. To define complex omni-channel process, uh, you can use OmniScript to design the complex process. Then comes FlexCard. Uh, if you want to create different uh, UI components uh, which act acts as cards to either get some information or to uh, just like pass them through a particular guided path or, uh, or a business flow, you can use flex cards. Then there is there are bots with the help of which uh, you can just create different kind of interactions. Then comes workflow. Uh, and by the way, all of uh, all of these things are used to develop the UI part of it, right? Uh, the automation and the process uh, we built it using the like business rules engine, flows, or uh, orchestrate, and document generation, and all of these things. But uh, we can like create the user experience of the UI without writing down a single line of code using the above things over there. Or you might have to write down some, but uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be very easy. Number one is business rules engine. It helps you create uh, like decision tables uh, and and yeah. A complete tree, right? Uh, with the help of which, uh, you, or, or complete flowchart for that matter, in with the help of which you'll be able to define what to do in which situation, what part to follow, what part not to follow. If the input is like this, go this way. If the input is like this, go that way. All of these things can be easily designed by you or the administrator that you have uh, to manage your financial services cloud. Then comes flows uh, orchestrate. Of course, uh, this is a low code tool to automate complex and multi user process. Uh, using built-in task management, uh, all of these things can be built using this flows orchestrate. So, flows orchestrate orchestrate is absolutely nothing. It's just flows. <laughs> it's it's Salesforce flows. Then comes document generation. You can also create uh, documents uh, like as as an output of whatever activities that they do, or as also as an input according to the uh, if you want to guide them through certain process or certain things. Uh, all of these things can happen inside Salesforce as well or inside financial services cloud only. Then comes data. Uh, there are data raptors. Uh, then integration procedures are there with the help of which you will be able to integrate different uh, different platforms, different applications and different systems uh, which are required in the in the flow along the way. Then comes data processing engine. Um, this is not, I mean, this is an orchestrated ag aggregation, aggregation and calculation service that enables rollup of large data volumes. What that basically means is uh, that if you really want to process a large number of data and uh, figure out something out of it, or if you want to, like let's say someone is writing down their account number, and at the same point of time, there are like, let's say millions of accounts that you have for, uh, millions of bank accounts that you have. In order to process that large amount of data and get that, uh, get the information of the user, which is of that particular account, who's the owner of that particular account, we can use this data processing engine, right? Yeah. Uh,